Hi friends, it's Mr. Alex from Adams Memorial Library, and I'm back for a new year and a new installment of the Online Origami Club. Now, since it's the winter time, I thought that this would be a great opportunity to make some winter themed origami, starting with a pair of mittens. So be sure to stop here at the library, either at our children's desk or curbside pickup to get your very own Online Origami Club kit. And in this kit is going to be all sorts of paper of different sizes, colors, and patterns that you can use to make your very own origami projects. There are just a few other things that we'll need to gather up, so let me show you what those are and we'll get started. In order to make our origami mittens, we're going to need just a couple of things. First, we'll need our practice sheets of paper to get really, really good at making our origami mittens. Then we'll need our online origami club kit or final sheets of paper to make our final origami mittens. We'll need a pair of scissors in case we need to trim down our practice paper into a perfect square. We'll need markers, crayons, or something else to decorate with. And finally, for this project in particular, if you want to string your mittens together, you're going to need a hole punch from home and a piece of string from your online origami club kit. Now, if you're following along at home and you don't have a hole punch, that's okay. You can attach your string with some tape or glue as well. But gather all of that up and we'll get started. When we're making our origami mittens, the first thing that we want to do is take the pattern side of our practice paper that we want to be the outside of our mittens, and we're going to go ahead and turn that face down. Once we do that, we're going to quarter our sheet of paper by folding it like this, opening it back up, and folding again in the other direction. Once we do this, we'll open it back up, and we're going to take this bottom edge here and we're going to fold it up to this fold line that we've made here in the middle. And we want to make sure that this is precisely lined up so that it will affect the rest of our folds. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold our project in half like this so that we have the pattern side of our paper on both sides. Now, you're going to want to pay attention to which direction you fold it in. For instance, I'm folding mine, taking this side over to this side, like this. But, as I'll mention at the end of the video, you're going to want to fold your uh, mittens so that the thumbs are on opposite sides. And so, if you are reversing that fold, then for your second mitten, you would just take and fold this side to this side, like this, and continue the project from there. But, for our first mitten, we're going to fold it like that so that we have what looks like a little book that opens up and has our pattern on each side. Once we've got that, we're going to fold this bottom corner here up and we're going to form a line corner to corner from this top point here to this bottom point down here. And by making this fold line, we're going to cause this bit of the project to stick out just a little bit, which is going to be the thumb of our mitten. So, We'll give that a nice sharp crease exactly where we want it in our project and we'll have something that looks like this. Once we've got this fold done, then it's time to round off the parts of our mitten. So first things first, we're going to want to take and round off this corner here and this corner here by folding them down at a right angle, just like this. So we'll have something like that repeated on this other side. And we want to make sure that this fold is about even or as deep as the other fold that we made. So it'll look something like this. And then we're going to fold off the corner of the thumb as well. So that'll be three folds that look just like this. And we can turn our mitten over. And at this point, our mitten will be complete. Now, this is one of our easier online origami club projects, but the fun in it comes from making a second mitten. So again, you can reverse the fold like I showed you halfway through this video and make a set of mittens that go together. You can then get your markers, crayons, or other decorating supplies to make them extra special, as well as your string to string them all together. And I'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video. And after a little bit of practice, I took my final sheets of paper out of my online origami club kit and I made these mittens right here. Now, some things to note are that when I folded my mittens, I wanted to make sure that my thumbs were on the opposite sides, just like real mittens. So I actually made the folds for the second mitten in the opposite direction. And I then took a hole punch and put a hole on the corner of each of my mittens so that I could tie my string in between it. And overall, I think they turned out pretty great. But 
More importantly, I'd like to see how your mittens turned out. So be sure to send pictures on over to us at kids at adamslib.org. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for updates, not only about the online origami club, but everything else that we're doing here at the library. And as always, happy crafting, everybody.